But you may find these statistics surprising. Some 35 million men and 21 million women in the U.S. have lost their hair. In some cases, the alopecia is genetic. At other times, it's the result of some sort of health condition. And Jody Plish is here to share what she has done to turn this issue into a motivational tool for her and for others, uh, as well as sharing your story and everything that you've invented. You brought props today. Wonderful. I did. I did. About 24 years ago, I was affected with a condition called alopecia areata, which is an autoimmune disorder where your body produces too many white blood cells. The white mm -hmm. blood cells think that hair is an infection and kills it off. So that renders us hairless. Wow. So um, it's about, um, there is about 200,000 people that have this particular condition mm -hmm. with no hair over their entire body. And that led me to watching Animal Planet, and I saw my first bald cat, and I thought, boy, God has a sense of humor. I mean, look, we look alike, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> what is King's Even name? down to the green eyes. This is Gizmo, and the books that you're oh, holding, yeah. I actually wrote uh, children's books, Gizmo, uh, Bella and Gizmo's Adventures, to help kids kind of realize the differences um, that we have in life. And then I invented my plush stuff, uh, Bella Doll. Mm -hmm. And all of this won me uh, my backstory as a top finalist on American Inventor TV show. Right. I invented a product called Headline It because I was tired of my wigs becoming saturated with oils and perspiration. And when I would wear a hat, it would get the salt stains and it would roll into my eyes. So I actually invented a thin disposable liner, one of a kind, that actually affixes inside of any type of headwear mm -hmm. item to stop the sweat from rolling in the eyes, and you can use it for about a week and dispose of it. Construction workers, anybody that and this wears... works with the wig you already have. Right, right. exactly. And if you, I don't know if okay. you can see a, the wig. Oh, I'm touching sure. my hair, Vince. Oh, is that all right? All right. <laughs> yeah. It's lovely. Yes, <laughs> right. of course. And you can see, which is a great thing for like cancer patients or mm -hmm. people like me, those little itchy, pokey hairs that come through, right. um, it'll protect it. You wear it for about a week at a time. You don't have to wash a wig or a hat or a... Um, you know, any type of helmet or liners as often. So we're working a lot with the military while I'm holding a military yeah. helmet. And all of this led me to become a keynote speaker. So I work with ISN, uh, International Speakers As uh, Association, and um, do works with uh, colleges and different you know, campuses and businesses, kind of promoting my whole tragedy to triumph, taking mm -hmm. and, um, a challenge and turning it into an opportunity. And I hate that we're out of time. That's because, okay. I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> but, but, I, but I want to direct people to our website. If you want more information on Jody's inventions and more on her journey as well, log on to todaystmj4.com. Click on the links page.